if you want to learn how to lift your face naturally, this is the video for you. Hey everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com where you will find a plethora of information about our skincare brand. We are small batched and about my beliefs. We are also vegan, we are natural, we are organic, we are all the wonderful things that are good for your body and the earth. You can visit us on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok as well to learn a little bit more about us. And please know that if you comment with love and kindness below, I will respond and I am here to become your personal holistic master esthetician. So I'm going to show you a little nighttime routine for lifting, but I also want to answer that question about personal holistic master esthetician. There is licensing for master esthetician, and I've had people say that there is not or other estheticians, and there absolutely is. Also, I have had the joy and uh, option or opportunity to work with some of the finest cosmetic surgeons and dermatologists who actually believe in what I do, and I in some ways believe in some of the things that they do. And I have been doing this for over 39 years, almost 40. I teach beauty and aging holistically, so no needles or no procedures. I also wear no foundation and concealer. However, if you do those things, I still hope that you can open your heart and mind to what I teach, uh, maybe make things better, and maybe even just go holistically next time. Uh, a lot of you ask what I do at night, and I have showed this before, but I'm going to show it again a little slower. So my PM routine is essentially everything that I do in the morning. And if you're a peach, that means exfoliating, cleansing, you know, I do my polish, um, ACV toner, and then I get to pH toner and I go on to vitamin C. I may do Luminous or Ageless Night Serum, which is a retinol or luminescent is a coenzyme Q10. I do my eye cream and my moisturizer. Uh, for those of you who don't know what those steps are, you can go to our FAQ page on peachesskincare.com, download the prescription sheet, and it can kind of guide you in the procedures that I teach, whether it's with my product or another. Uh, the moisturizer is so important because a moisturizer, just like your cleanser, so many people say, say those aren't needed, even like eye cream, it kind of blows my mind, but I think a lot of them maybe don't have a lot of practical knowledge with skin. But those should not only hydrate your skin and feed your skin, but heal your skin with elements that help with scar tissue, uh, any discoloration or melasma. Those are the elements that I put into my products. So then after I have done my PM routine, probably about anywhere from four to five in the evening, it just kind of depends. If I can do early, I always like to get in there and just take care of my skin. I then go downstairs and I start with my UC. I also have another company sending me one of these and I'm, I'm really loving them. So this is an LED wand. You know I love LED masks. Uh, there are a couple that I love right now. Um, one is by Canduway, uh, Current Body, and then um, Dr. Dennis Gross. And there should be codes for the latter two in my description box. You just hit the information on the front of this page right now or the video, and it will bring you to the description box. And those are LED masks that I love and I promote. What I love about this little guy is you just kind of turn them on. I don't want to blind you with the red light. And I will just start by going up my face with this very, very slowly. Now remember, my serums are on, my toner's on, my moisturizer is on and my eye cream is on or vice versa. And I just go over every part of my face, just like so, got a little hair there. And I may do this for a couple minutes. I actually find it very soothing and you know, we might be just watching a program on television while I do this and it doesn't have to take a long time. You're sitting there anyway, why not? And then I just keep going over it again. Some people have even asked if you can use it on your hands, and I absolutely think that you can. What I love about this is it is FDA approved, but it gets nice and close to the skin. Some of the masks, the lights a little bit away, and I like that you can touch your skin with this. 
and I absolutely see a change. I take really good care of my skin, but you know you I would be honest if I didn't see a change with any of these tools, and I do see a change with this. However, just like anything else, do not use actives or tools until your skin is ready, meaning your products are so much more important and get those going first for a few weeks. So after I do my little handheld tool, I do my new face. I love new face. Um, I've been doing professional microcurrent in my salons for 30 plus years. Um, I was one of the original people to do it with gloves. And here's the thing, you don't wanna use gloves at home because you're moving your body so much the gloves are really not doing what they're supposed to be doing. It's, it's not meant for home use. Now, as far as doing, um, oh gosh, I'm trying to think of the other tools. I love New Face. I think New Face is an incredible product. They have the original technology and it works. And you only need a mini. You don't need anything expensive. So I will then turn on my New Face. I like to go so you can go a light here. You can go all the way to the end and that's what I do and I just start up my neck like so. And I just let the tool beep. Now I haven't turned it on because I don't want the beeping to affect uh, the, um, the video, but I just keep moving it, going up your face, never down. Now I get right under my cheeks and I bring it around, right under my cheeks. Don't be afraid to move your face. I have had countless people just this week say to me, Lisa, I thought we're not supposed to move our face. I thought we're not supposed to massage. That is absolutely not true and false information. Get those muscles moving. We have 42 muscles in our face and 43 with our neck. And microcurrent is such an incredible way to start working those muscles, get those muscles working, and if you don't work them, you're going to lose them. It's one of the reasons I am not a fan of Botox. If it brings you joy, that's great. I worry about the toxins being in my body. And I also see women, 99.9% .9 of the new clients that come into us and have done Botox have jowls and have a face that's dropped because they stopped working those muscles. So take everything I say with love and holistically. So I go around my whole face. I would say that I do this for one round. Some nights I'll do two rounds, but one round. Believe it or not, now I go back to my UC tool again, and I just go up and around my whole face, and then I add my facial oil. Now, the skin is an oil-loving organ, and I think a lot of people don't watch these videos all the way through, or the videos are only as good as the first video that we have coming out that day. People don't tend to go back, and those of you that do, I'm so appreciative. But yes, oil is okay for your skin. Yes, it does matter the type of oil. This is olive oil, bergamot oil, vitamin E. These are elements that heal the skin and brighten and lighten it naturally. You can fix melanocyte damage. You can fix sun damage. Um, look at the comments below of people who will tell you, I can't believe it, Lisa, everything you said has worked. I own three holistic skincare salons and we have worked with hundreds of thousands of clients. So it's like I've done this science experiment to tell all of you or show all of you what actually works. And I try to keep things in layman's terms. You don't need to be in a chemistry or physics class right now. You just need to look at this and open your heart holistically. I love Western medicine, my daughter's a nurse practitioner, and I love Eastern and both work beautifully. So I take a little bit of oil I actually pat it on my face. Now our products are small batched, meaning they last you forever. Um, I would say a cleanser lasts you four months. This facial oil should last you four to five months. You only need a tiny bit because they're so pure. I'll then use my Odacite tool, O-D-A-C-I-T-E. I do not have a um, code for them, but I'll just start kind of working all the different little pressure points. I may even bring it like so, and I may kind of get under my cheekbone and just press in different areas. I'll do one side to show you. I get around my eye like so. Now be very gentle with the eye, but you can gently move it like this as well and drain. I get up into my eyebrow bone 
and I may do what I call waterfall, just kind of going up and down, up and down. And then I'll go to the other side. You may already see where the blood is flowing. Blood flow creates oxygenation of skin cells and therefore collagen. And then lastly, I will grab my gua sha. Now you can use any gua sha that you feel comfortable with. Make sure it's a stone and not plastic. Uh, Wilding did send me a metal one, I do like it. Uh, find one that's comfortable for you. I particularly like this shape, kind of like a heart. And I'll actually start by draining downward. And I'm always improving the way that I do these things, kind of getting everything drained. Um, real gua sha teachers will teach you to start in the back at the, the top of your spine and really bring it up to your uh, lower cranium of your, um, your skull. And then I'll just kind of start to bring everything up. And again, just moving out to the side, moving out to the side and just bring that gua sha. Now I have a firmish touch, but you see my muscles moving because that's what they do. I'll get under my eyes and go to the pressure point and so on and so forth. And I also like to get right under that bone and just hold it for a few seconds because our bones begin to change as we age. And I wanna to try to lift them up. And believe it or not, you can make these changes happen. It's amazing what I see in my face after years of doing this on YouTube. Uh, when I started this during COVID, it really does work. You just have to be consistent and have patience. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side because I can feel the blood really flowing over here. I'm just gonna do a little bit, but just do your different moves. Take your time, really get things uh, changing with your skin. When I'm done, I may then do some massage, uh, just kind of holding up and going out. And this is a really wonderful face lift massage, if you will. Get right under the brow bones, bring it up, bring it up like so. You can just get things going. You may even do your eyebrows like so. I really just take the time to get everything going. And I'll tell you something, it helps me sleep better at night. It gets everything to clean out beautifully. You can do tapping. You can do some facial yoga, you know, both to the side. I even like to hold this pose, not very attractive. And I'll count to 20 and then I'm done. I drink a bunch of water while I'm watching TV. I love to have green tea at night. I make Kent drink his green tea as well. And it's a great way to just give your skin that extra love and encouragement because the skin is a brilliant organ and it really takes suggestion very well if you tell it to do things, it really does. And then when you're sleeping at night, when the body is healing itself and it's healing different things and purging things out through the organs, including the largest organ of the body, you, the skin, you have helped it to do that. Don't forget to wear your milk of magnesia to bed every night. Um, any of you that have said, Lisa, I feel like I'm breaking out again. You're not wearing your milk of magnesia. I'm finding that out. Don't forget to put black Jamaican castor oil around your eyes at night. Your eye cream should have already been on for a couple hours. All of your skincare should be on for a couple hours before you do your milk of magnesia. And just go to bed feeling wonderful, knowing that you're going to wake out wake up being the best you've ever been. I hope this encourages you. You can ask me questions with love and kindness below, and I hope that you all uncover your true confidence.